Hello and welcome to Conquering Mouse Grab More with Brenda. I'm Brenda and today we're going to show you how to make the old made puzzle block. Now this is a very lovely traditional block and it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to put together. But first we want you to check out Pam at Empty Nest Quilter. Uh, her channel is going to be in the show notes below and she's a YouTube channel. She's lots of fun. So when you go check her out, tell her to tell her that Brenda from Conquering Mount Scrapmore sent you. And if you get the chance, share, like, and subscribe. Over half of you are not subscribed. And that would really help us out. Also, make comments on these blocks that we're doing. And, you know, tell us what you're liking, what you're not liking. You know, just have fun. Or just say, come in, chat, and say hello. Uh, the other thing is we have a Facebook group. And that Facebook group is making use of the rooms. We're posting pictures. We're getting to know each other. We're having fun. It's a lovely group to be part of. So if you get the chance, check out that Facebook group, right? We're also voting on, I'm not sure whether we're voting on a Zoom so date for everybody, including the guys at YouTube. And if we are, we will be putting that in the show notes as well. So come on in. We have a beautiful traditional block to show you. Okay, so here we go. We've got Old May's Puzzle Hunk you know, pretty much out here. And we're just going to do the, you know, the little seams, the little triangles first. Um, tell, we're trying a new angle here and let us know in the comments below whether you can see this better or if this works out better for you or what. You know, it's kind of one of those things where we're like, okay, we gotta keep experimenting <laughs> until, until we can actually, you know, find a, an angle that everybody can see good right because we're trying to I know we had some complaints about not being able to see the layout of these blocks and that kind of concerned me you know so well anyway so here we are we're just gonna run the quick triangles and those triangles the, you're cutting squares and then you're cutting them in half only once right so this is the bias and these are straight a grain right both on both the on both the, the white or the background color and you know the, the color. Now I cut these wrong because with my ruler because I wasn't being careful so I have little ends on both sides. That's okay they work because you just line up your triangle. Just line it up just make it happen anyway don't worry about it. And there we go we'll do both while we're here. And I just want to line that up. That's a little bit better. This is a fun block because it goes into an assembly like a four patch. You assemble it like a four, exactly like a four patch. Okay. Once you get all the little subunits done. Now this lends itself very quickly to being lovely and scrappy. And I just take off these ends a little sharper than than the the sawed off end. Now I cut these with an easy angle triangle ruler. So I already have one end cut off, which works for me. Now you want to make sure that you finger press to the dark on these. So you see I'm finger pressing to the dark. And then you want to put them like that back in, in their place. Okay. So there these I always liked this one. This all just was quite the fun little, you could have all sorts of scrappiness going on here and it would look lovely. You know, I picked a pink as a, as an accent cause there's pink in the red a bit, but I mean, you could have fun with this. Well, let's just go this way and get that one off too. Okay. And the cat's looking for food. <laughs> He hasn't done that in a while, has he now? He hasn't bothered people. Let me get this. You know what? I'm going to take this. I'm going to start sewing these little four patches together first, right? Just to, to get that bit of sub subunit sewing out of the way. And there we go. Put this in. And then this. You can do quite a bit of sewing on this one before you have to actually run a leader ender through, you know, so that's okay. 
And if you're at a retreat or, you know, a so date or you're looking for like community service quilt, you know, patterns or something, this is such a cutie. This is such a cutie to do. Anyway, so here we go. I'm doing another subunit. And another one. Like I say, I'm trying to get rid of my floral um, neutrals just so I can move them out. But now, here we go. This one's going to go this way. And this is going to go that way. So now they'll nest perfectly. So this goes down this way. This one goes up, right? So now we have a perfect nest. Perfect nesting. So we don't lose that point. Now I just go in a bit. And I clip it so I can make sure that I've got a good nest. And it looks beautiful. And when I get to the end, make sure it lasts there. There we go. Okay, do the same with this. This goes this way. So basically you're pressing to, uh, away from the triangles to make that perfect point, right? Yeah. There we go. Now I'm going to clip it again just to make sure that I have an absolute perfect nest. Yes, I do. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things I'm going to show you. So here I clipped, and this is what the ruler clipped off, right? Now, it doesn't look like a lot of difference, but that little bit more extra will make a difference in the total overall weight of the quilt, right? So you try and remove bulk and excessive weight. So I've now pressed it like this, so I've cracked my corner open, so I don't have a great big lump in the middle of the subunit. And then I'm putting it like that. So now I can start with this one. Just, okay, sewing them together just like a four patch. Right, just like a four patch. There we go. And I don't have anything to match. I don't want things to flip. Now I have to take the other one off. Break the center. Right, so nice and flat. Break this open. There we go. Okay. And that's going to go under the needle. There we go. I've just webbed this four patch now together. Okay. And now I take my leader ender block. This one was, was fun. This one, this uh, Kate's Fall is fun to do as a leader ender. I just <laughs> having all sorts of fun with it. And uh, yeah, it's going to be bright and happy. And the colors I chose were all cool tones. So it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be happy. A happy quilt. There we go. Now I'm just going to open this up and show you what I got so far. There, right there. And now we've got this little thread joining. So we're just going to pop this over just like so, put it together just like a four patch, right? And we had to do some some work on and I'm going to snip that thread so I know exactly where I want this. Now I want this to go up and this I want to go down because there's lots of stuff right there and it's not going to allow me to go the other way easily. So now I make sure I got a good nest. Yes I do. And we're off to the races again. There. Now, okay, make sure you get to the end. Perfect. Nice. Everything's matching up. And now as I'm going to grab another leader ender and then we'll have our ta-da moment. 
So here we are with our old maid puzzle. Now isn't this cute? Can you see this like all over in a quilt? Just like crazy scrappiness. It would be such a happy little block. I'm hitting my reds and I'm still, you know, keeping them, trying to keep them down into, into, into some kind of, you know, get them into smaller, but we'll see how well we do over the next couple of weeks, you know, moving out the reds. So I did put pink here because there was a little bit of pink in this uh, print that I got. This is kind of a wild paisley print and it had a bit of green and everything. So I think this one came together pretty well. You can play with your scraps and do whatever you need to do to make this happy. Um, these I actually pulled from my, the pink ones, I actually pulled from my, my crumb bins because I keep my crumbs hand size. But some people think that's too large for a crumb. I think it's probably not too bad because then I can still applique out of my crumb bin and I've got like, you know, smaller pieces in there. So until we meet again, I hope you have an absolutely amazing fabulous week and everything is going well in your sewing room and you have some beautiful happy creative things going on in your life in your sewing room so take care until we meet again okay bye my husband and i would love to thank you for coming along with us on our quilting journey and the youtube adventure that we're on we have some wonderful plans for 2023 and it includes a lot more like with the Facebook group and the rooms feature and sewing and hanging out with people. Those monthly Zoom sew dates are still in the works. We have a lot of fun ideas coming up for 2023. And we hope you share, like, and subscribe with your friends. That little notification but button and subscribing to us really helps us out. Commenting helps us out too. So if you like what you're seeing, let us know. Even send us a like a, a heart on the comment that that helps so much for us okay you have an absolutely fabulous 2023 and all of our best wishes for you in the future okay take care bye